We're in Concord, we're on Sherry Circle. I'm joined by Jim Croy, years ago, Northgate High School, Cal Poly, and you're gonna to have to help me, you transfer somewhere after Cal Poly. I finished at Westmont College okay. in Santa Barbara. Well, you're a genius, that sounds like a very nice place to go to school. It was more than nice. Okay. Yeah. We, we joked it was a country club that, right. that had a school on it. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate you leaving Westmont and the Santa Barbara area and coming back, yeah. but, but tell people what Elevate, tell people what Elevate is. Yeah, so Elevate was kind of a dream of mine. Um, obviously had a lifelong passion of basketball and kind of transitioned into teaching and coaching. Um, so once I finished playing in college, uh, I used to do individual small group training sessions. That eventually grew into a program I called Night School Basketball. Um, and I used to rent gym space and we'd do clinics for, for youth up through high school. And I did a lot of uh, that also at Renaissance Club Sport, just as, which is just down the street. Um, and then about two, two and a half years ago, I kind of had the idea of it would be great if I had my own facility. Um, so it took me about 15 months to actually find a space that would, would, uh, would allow for what I had envisioned, which was basically a full court and then a little training area on the side. Um, but I got lucky, I found it. Again, it took me a while, um, but basically it was kind of a dream that came true and then uh, we grew Elevate, which uh, my sister-in-law, Jamie Croy, came up with the name and uh, right away I knew it was right in terms of elevate, elevating your game, your attitude. Um, and it's been, been a tremendous experience. We opened it about seven months ago and uh, have lots and lots of teams that are in here running the facility. I do a lot of individual and small group training. This summer we did uh, two weeks of camp for both boys and girls. Uh, we did a shooting camp with Darrell Wright, uh, who also lives in Walnut Creek, which was a fun time. Um, this morning we did a youth clinic where we had 40 kids in here in this morning working hard. Um, so it's been just a, a true blessing and a ton of fun. Um, every time I walk through the doors, it kind of feels uh, very special, and I feel lucky to, to be able to do it. And we'll talk about a little more. You also have Donkey Kong here. We, we do have a few video games, courtesy of a good friend of mine named John Gregory. So Donkey Kong, uh, Space Duel is another legendary game over there. Yes, but something for the parents to do while their kids are getting worked right. out. And I don't know why. I might, this is how mine went. Well, you said... Uh, What's it called? You called it what, 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 what do you call it? Night basketball? What you called it? So night school night, basketball. No, night school basketball. Yeah. Did you take that from night court? Not from night court. Oh, I just kind of came over there okay. primarily because we did our trainings so we, in the evening. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No. But that's it. So I mean, but you're literally almost. I don't want to misspeak, but you're almost doing uh, night school basketball all the time here at Elevate now. Yeah. So it's uh, night school on steroids. Exactly. Um, yeah. So it's just bigger, more, and uh, hopefully better. We've had a, a lot of great coaches that have yeah. partnered with yeah. us. Um, this, this summer at our camps, we had a lot of uh, both men and women that play at St. Mary's that help us out in the summer. Um, and a lot of, lot of just really good people, right. which I think is super important in terms of role models for sure. the kids and making it a very positive experience. Right. So it's been great. I'm trying to think, uh, anything else you want to say about Elevate? And because then I, want, I have some questions for you going all the way back to Northgate. Sure. Where they're yeah. going to educate people about. So Elevate, if anyone's interested, it's the uh, website is elevatebasketballtraining.com. Um, again, we do individual small group training sessions. Um, we also do birthday parties. Um, yesterday we did two of those, and uh, have, those have been a real blast. We've actually done 25 of them in seven months. Right. And we allow for indoor soccer. We have some little soccer goals. We do dodgeball, which right. is super popular. Um, and then basketball, of course. The baskets can lower down, yeah. so we have the little kids can get in here and do training as well. Um, and then we have a couple of AAU programs that rent the facility. Right. St. John Vianney, uh, CYO. Uh, a lot of the teams will practice here right. as well, which is another program um, that I coach in. Right. I don't know if I saw it on the internet. I don't know if it was you or somebody dunked over the, the birthday kid yesterday. Yeah, so who, yesterday. Who, uh, who, 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 did, who did So the that dunk? was uh, a kid that I've been working with for a couple of years named David Gunn, who right. played at San Ramon Valley. And okay. he, funny enough, uh, plays at Westmont now as well. Right, so okay. He, uh, funny, kind of a cool story was he was working summer camp for us and this kid fell in love with him, like they bonded right, right away, and his mom reached out to me and said, we'd love it if, uh, if uh, Coach Gunn could be at the party, he'd make his day, so I called up Coach Gunn, I said, can you come out? He said, absolutely, and that was kind of the end of the party. We, we sat uh, the birthday boy underneath right. the hoop, and, and Coach Gunn went over the top for him for a nice right. hammer dunk. And not to put you on the spot, could you do that? 
I could, I can still dunk, right. but I couldn't, I wouldn't dare try and go over anybody. I think I'd hurt them. You know something? Your, you have insurance. Your insurance policy isn't big enough. Yeah, it does. It doesn't call for that. Okay, yeah, fair so enough. I'll yeah. leave that to the young guys. But, but no, we'll talk about as I said. Uh, well, I mean, what you do, what you're doing now. But in the past, I mean, you can still play. But in the past, you pretty much, you and Frank Alaco pretty much started the program there at Northgate. I mean, I mean, that's I'm oversimplifying, but uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll talk about that. Sure, sounds good.